Hey shop rats, welcome to, back to Let's Build R2D2. So, after everything's traced out, you're gonna to wanna to start cutting these pieces out. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to get, to take care of these little nooks right here. So, let's go ahead and get these pieces cut out, shall we? Okay, so after you have your piece cut out, what you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and run the blade down both sides to just before the curve. So that way you have two cuts up and down here. Let me just go through those again. And then choose one side and then go across so you make yourself a rectangle. I usually flip the back over to make sure all my lines are cut through. And then pop that little square out of there. And you still have the curve, and I'll show you how to take care of that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and get this other side cut out. Okay, so now that we got both of those cut out, let's go ahead and head over to the other part of our workshop, shall we? Okay, now that we're over here, what you're gonna want is a rotary tool with a small sanding bit, not one of the large ones, but one of the smaller ones. Also, you're gonna want safety glasses and a respirator because it will kick dust up. So let's go ahead and get our respirator on. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the sanding bit and go ahead and just sand those little indents down. So let's go ahead and get that started. And there you have it. We have our two little half circles, crests, cut out. So just do that for all the rest of your pieces. And then we'll go ahead and get these glued together. Okay. Once you have your multiple pieces out, you can get anything from some Elmer's glue, some hot glue, or you can even get contact cement. Now with contact cement, if you're going to use it, you're going to want to either be in a very ventilated place and wear a respirator or not use it at all because that stuff is toxic and dangerous and very flammable. Now the hot glue is great. It's going to give you a solid connection. It's going to work wonders. The problem is when you have bigger pieces to do that the glue might go faster and not heat up as quickly enough when you put new sticks in to cover the whole surface at one time. I've run into that problem before. So... What I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and using some Elmer's glue because it seems to do a decent job. It does what it needs to do. It glues the two pieces together. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started on that. So I'm just gonna get our glue to the bottom there. Just gonna make an outline of each section, add some around the centers. And that way we can get a nice even glue spread throughout because these connections are incredibly important for later on. So, we'll then just go ahead and line up our pieces. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, it's more important to get your indents right here that we just drilled and cut out lined up more so than it is the top and bottom because we can always cut those or sand those later. For the indents, I would just not, I'd rather not go back and mess with those. So, once you got these lined up the way you would want, maybe add some, maybe get multiple ones done at once, add some books or something heavy on top so that you get a nice solid connection, they don't separate. Try not to move it a lot once you got it where you want it, that way it doesn't come unglued glue doesn't lose its power and just do that for all the rest of your pieces and then next time we'll work on assembling the frame so until next time we'll 